In this handy dandy video, I'm going to show you how to mount the Kestrel and the weather vane onto a tripod. So what you're going to get is you're going to have a tripod of some sort of some size. I just got a generic one up here just so it's you can see what it is. But you want one with a camera mount that has a little threaded screw on the top um, so that you'll be able to mount the device. Uh, you may have one of two different types of kestrels um, that you're going to get. There's going to be a kestrel. Uh, this one is a kestrel that actually has the weather vane in the whole package. We also have one that's a standalone kestrel and a standalone weather vane kit. They all have the same bits and components to it. You just need to make sure that um, whichever one you're using, just put it together as I'll show you here. So if you got the kestrel kit, it all comes all combine together. If you don't, you've got one that's a weather vane kit that's going to have this stuff and then the Kestrel's going to have this stuff up top. Uh, so basically when you open it up, take everything out of the bag. So there's a little Ziploc bag here that's got a lanyard in it. It's got the battery for it. Um, it's got a little bit of instructions. There's a little instruction manual. You'll have the Kestrel. There's a green one and a yellow one depending upon which one you get. And then you're going to have various uh, components. There's four bits to this. There's the mount. There's the bracket, the, the mounting bracket. There's the main uh, rotational bracket here. There's a, a fin and then there's a rod. So again, when you assemble, the first thing you're going to do is put together the weather vane. So the weather vane is you'll find um, one of the pieces will have a thread will go on the threaded screw right down here. This part right here rotates freely. So you'll be able to find that one there. There's a kind of a, a D shaped um, a C cup sort of thing that will hold a the Kestrel itself on the outside, and then the, this will slide down into a locking me mechanism there. There's just a simple rod that just goes in by pushing it into the opening here, and then the, the uh, fin will go on the back side of the weather vane. Once it's assembled, it looks like this. Uh, make sure that the Kestrel mounted, the opening is toward the fin, and then you'll have this little critter right there all assembled. This thing rotates around, so if you were to hold that, this thing will spin freely. You then take that uh, device there and then screw it onto a tripod. Um, any type of mount that has that threaded screw on it will work. Um, we're going to get you ones that have a level next to it because you want to make sure that it is uh, level and it will spin, uh, spin freely whenever it's stood up. Um, once you've got the device together, you can slide the Kestrel down into it with the buttons facing the fin the face of the Kestrel facing the fin. So you can see how the mount works here. Uh, I think you can technically mount it the other direction, but we want to make sure that we mount it correctly. The Kestrel also comes with a lanyard, so you can connect the lanyard to it. And I recommend doing that. It just keeps, keeps you from losing equipment. It's easy to keep track of. Try not to spin it around like a whistle. Um, you'll also have uh, the uh, wind gauge, the uh, anometer, aerometer uh, up here on the top is located right there. It'll have a cover on a lot of these that will close so that it's not operational until you need to make sure that you open that so that you can actually get the wind speed off there. The device is right over here really quick, and we'll talk about this in a different video, is where you're going to get your humidity and temperature range is located right there, and also pressure. Um, and then these are your controls that you'll work through, and we'll talk about that in a different one. But your lanyard, once it's attached to the bottom, uh, works as such. When you do mount it, so you can see here, this is from a top down, the fin needs to be straight up and down facing the Kestrel unit. There, here we actually have the wind gauge is closed. Here the wind gauge is open. If you have the lanyard, just simply mount it in this place and then wrap the lanyard around it. Make sure that the lanyard is above the rotating mechanism. So we want to make sure that it wraps around up here and it doesn't interfere with the bottom so I think it's still spin freely. So some common mistakes about mounting the uh, Kestrel are uh, you mounted it backwards. Um, so that means you would have to stand in the wind and to read it. So you would actually be breaking the wind in front. And so that would mess up the reading uh, by not opening the protector on the aerometer, which is the wind gauge, how fast it's spinning, uh, getting your lanyard tangled up in the rotation so it doesn't spin freely, not having the fin straight up and down or more side to side. It needs to be straight up and down so that it will turn and face into the wind. Not having the tripod level in all directions, so if you're using a bubble level, turn it 90 degrees, 180 degrees, and 270 degrees to make sure it stays level in each one of those. Um, another error is just uh, by where you place it. If you have the Kestrel too close to a building, that could redirect the wind, so you can get a false wind 
reading there. So you want to be away from objects if you can. And the other one is if you don't know which direction north is, you don't know which direction the wind is coming from. So um, that can be in itself an inherent problem. Ultimately, and roughly how it works is pretty straightforward. Uh, the wind will blow, and what it will do is it will catch that fin, and then it will spin the fin around so that the uh, kestrel is facing into the wind. Uh, we name wind from whence it comes, not where it's going. So if you have a north wind, it is coming from the north, meaning that it will probably be cold. If you had a south wind, it's going to probably be coming across the sound. If you're coming across the sound, it's probably going to be a lot warmer. So we. We're interested in wind is coming from because that's going to tell some of the characteristics of that wind. Um, the Kestrel will ultimately record the wind speed, so you can actually watch the wind speed as it builds up over there. You can read it from the, the side of the, the wind gauge. You want to make sure that you're back behind the, the fin, and then you can read the screen um, as you are also facing into the wind. Um, it will also record any gust or anything along those lines. And so typically we do average wind speed and then gust. So that's kind of how it works. So the weather vane is designed to catch the wind and spin the object into wherever the predominant wind is coming from. So nice and simple and sweet, uh, pretty quick one there. And we're going to talk about the what you can do with the Kestrel a little bit later.